I was here for a book, dude. Is that so? Hmm. Perhaps your counsel has not been entirely honest with you. Do you really believe they sent you here for a book? No, they sent you here to spy on me. They've heard the same rumors I have about the necromancer's cult. Go on. Tell your counsel that the next time they want something from me, they come themselves. They don't send someone under false pretenses. Whooped. My bad, bro. Yes, I see that now. I regret that Traven has involved you in this way. At least you've survived. For now. Perhaps in the future you can be trusted enough to deal with more serious matters. Now our business here is concluded. I suggest you return to your council. Ah, okay. Yeah, but he was invisible. Did you see that? You know what that means. He's a mage! No, I'm just kidding. It's not the reason he can turn invisible, but we'll get to that later. Uh, I don't know where that green guy died. <laughs> I kind of lost track. Eh, we kind of just run it. I, I kind of just ran all over the effing place. <laughs> I'm not sure where exactly I smacked him down, but he was the first to go down, so he could be laying. We got enemies around. Seriously, dude? I do not need this right now, man. Must be a, like a bear or a wolf or something. I doubt we got more people around right now. Do you see anything? No, no. Uh, okay. Dude? What the hell? I just got silenced! Are you serious? Is that what I think it is? Is that really like someone just silenced me? I think that's what that little symbol means. Yeah! From a potion of. Somebody's got a freaking bow with a poisoned arrow of silence on it. Silver ring, gold. Where are you, you bastard? You know what? I need to heal so I don't die. I have anything that will help me at all. No, I have nothing. I suck. Ugh. Okay, well, um... Apparently they're firing steel arrows, whoever they are. And I can use my detect life uh, power to find them. Of course I'm silenced, can't I? Can I use a power when I'm silenced? No, I can't. I just... Okay, I need to take some cover. So I don't get smacked until I can find these people. Where are they? See anybody? There you are. It's a bandit or something. You ain't hitting me with that shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Lol, you missed. All right, let's see. I mean, I should heal wounds. Ah, I'm not entirely sure what's worth it at this point. Still can't cast any spells with them. Still silenced though. My sword looks funny. Do I have a poison on it right now? Or is it just out of charge? Is that what it is? <laughs> bandit Bowman. Oh great. Now she's using her sword. I'd rather use the bow to be honest. It's easier to dodge. Yeah, take your bow out. There you go. There you go. That makes things easier on me. Thanks a lot. You're really helping me out here. So I don't need my uh, life detection spell anymore, do I? I need my fireballs. I need my balls of fire. Looks like it. Ah shit. I forget that there's like a delay on when the spell, like when you click the bumper and when the spell actually. Dude, would you just hit her? That's four for four. <laughs> When you fire it and when it actually hits them. Or not. Oh. Well, yeah, there's a delay between when you fire it and when it hits them. But there's an even, like, worse of, Or not, maybe not worse, but there's, a, there's also a delay between when you push the bumper and when the spell oh. actually fires. I'm thinking it hits. That's not good. <laughs> God! Ah, dude! <laughs> Man, we were so close to the end of that quest, and now it's like... Dude over, bitch! I think I might just meet you guys back, like, after we're done fighting these guys, and I've... Like talk to this count again and everything. Ah, this is interesting. A different vampire dream. In your dream, you approach a vampire ancient. Having just completed a perilous task for him, you swell with pride. Sure that he will bestow even greater power upon you, the entire clan's eyes are upon you. Walking towards the Dias where he stands, you realize that your task for him is actually unfinished, and that all of your vampiric powers have left you. You cry out as the clan descends upon you and the Ancient's fangs rip into the flesh of your throat. Yes, you! We need to- Get out of here! Yes, Barthier? You. Damn it! I swear we I will kill you! We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the Great Chapel at midnight! 
don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Little bastard, get out of here. Now, who's that I keep saying over here? Like, seriously? Like, I can't... I can't figure this shit out. How fast this guy walks? It's like, step, 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 step. Takes really fast, short steps. Like, short strides, I mean. Anyway, let's get the F out of here and go talk back to this, uh... Ramanus guy, tell him that he's a bitch for sending us here for no reason. Alright, back here at the Arcane University. Jump inside. Is that actually, is he inside that door? No, I'm being pointed somewhere else. Great, let's go find him. He's probably asleep in his bed, honestly. There's just like a, there's like a, what you call it, a barracks back here almost. I call it the mage quarters. Basically, it's just of a bedroom upstairs with a whole bunch of beds in it where everybody sleeps. Alright, so, yeah, look. One, two, Three, four, five, six people in one room. It's like a hostel almost. So we feed off of Ramanus. <laughs> Let's see, what, what level vampire are we right now? I believe we're level three. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we're level three. I'm gonna wait and I'll become a level four vampire before I uh, feed again so I can show you guys the maximum stats I'd have. Let's just talk to him. Wake him up. Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldorf? Yes, and you're an asshole. Saved you, did he? Well, that's a good sign. I must apologize. It was never the Council's intention to put you in harm's way. Hmm. Why'd you lie to me? The Count's unique nature is not public knowledge. The Council wishes to keep it that way. What? At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you since it was not crucial to the task you were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. What do you mean his true nature? What? Dude, I'm so lost. Archmage Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention and provoke a reaction from the Count. We were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground making them more difficult to root out. You're right. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret. And in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. Why does he aid you? As a vampire... What? The Count has few allies he can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide it from the Council of Mages. Well, I can. So he approached us with an accord. As you have seen, that agreement is under a great deal of strain lately. The Count does not agree with certain policies the Guild has established. Like what? It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure. But the Council does not consider him to be a threat. After all, he has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time, without incident. But you don't trust him anymore. We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the Necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. At least, not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. That's nice. You have done your job admirably, and I thank you for it. Can I advance now? Your services to the guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. If yeah. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. Cool. Spell drinker. And I'm not going to talk to you, because I don't want any more quests right now. Let's see. Where is that amulet? Menus confuse me sometimes. Alright, so we got Cruelty's Heart. Willpower and Strength, 3 points each, that's cool. Spell Drinker. Spell Absorption, 15 points on self. That's cool. If we get hit with a spell, there's a 15% chance, I think, that we'll just absorb the entire spell and convert it into Magicka. Or maybe just, like, convert it to health. I'm not actually sure what it does. Anyway, let's put our pants back on, and we can go to... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna end the recording session now. Actually, I'm... You know what? It might be interesting to see a uh, full-on vampire. So I'm gonna go another 24 hours, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, okay, here we are. Not a vampire? No? Hmm. Maybe I need to sleep. I'm gonna steal someone's bed. <laughs> Lol. 
My bed. Oh, I'm dang sorry, it. fellow magic. Yeah, I know you don't have time to talk. You're sleeping. Dude, dude, I want your bed. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, dude, I don't want, I don't want to take a nap. I guess I'll just wait another day and see if that does it. There we go. Yeah, I think we've already read this one, but vampire attributes added. Oh shit! Everybody's awake all of a sudden. <laughs> they all get up in unison. Are you not feeling well? Are you not feeling well? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm sorry, fellow magic. Uh, of course, you guys don't have time to talk to my ass. Are you Lol. He gets to sleep in late because he's the boss. It also means we'll end up sucking his blood quite shortly. <laughs> Lol. Vampirism 100%. Sun damage 8 points per second. It's very nasty. It'll kill you. Pretty damn quickly. I don't think it's actually 8 points per second either. I think it's actually faster than that. Anyway, weakness to fire, 50%. We got 20 points on speed, willpower, and strength. Our, uh, let's see. Yeah, acrobatics, sneak, um, mysticism, illusion, hand to hand, destruction, athletics. Those are all raised by 20 points. We have still have our resist disease. We resist normal weapons by 20%, which is cool. Resist paralysis, too. Spell absorption. It's all really neat. So let's take a look at our stats now. So we'll have 105 speed. So we're like, balls happy fast. Like, I can really zip around the place here. Like, if you look at it in a third person, it's even, like, more ridiculous, like, how fast this guy actually is. He's just like, wee -hee -hee! Your skin looks a bit off. It's probably because I'm so freaking pale. Anyway. Yeah, I get 20 points there, 20 points there, 20 points there. So we can carry, what, 390, when really we shouldn't be able to carry that much intelligence, etc., etc. And I'm gonna wait for this person to, like, GTFO so I can feed on this guy. Okay, I know you're gonna spot me if I do it right now, because you're definitely, like, get out of here, you. Get, get out of here, dude, seriously, like, okay, feed. Feed? Feed me. I need food. Someone's talking to me, I can't really hear what they're saying. I'm looking for blood's been satisfied, etc. I'm sorry. Did you guys just like shift off? I thought there was a girl in here. Anyway. Did it work? Our magical stuff is gone. Yeah, and see now we can our stats are lower. By fifteen points, of course. You can get those plus five bonuses all the time though, which is nice. And uh Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for now. So I'm gonna save up and I'll see you guys when we uh get to the next recording session on Let's Play Oblivion. See you later. Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here. Oh shit, she's rolling out from behind the uh, cupboard there. If you couldn't tell that, that was uh, that lump back there was actually her uh, legs. Check this out. Let's see if I can get the shot to go off again. Yeah, I've kind of just been... No, 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 stay over there, stay over there. I've kind of just been screwing around. Let's see if I can do it again. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Alright, let's fix this. Let's load the actual save that I want to play from. Let's see. It's going to be down here near the bottom. But yeah, I, <laughs> I put that as my last save point so that when I hit continue, I would remember what I was up to, what I was doing when it all uh, finished up. But uh, yeah, basically I leveled up once more. Uh, I, I know that's not really the best LPing technique to LP like off-camera, that sort of thing, but eh, I, I mean, it was basically the exact same thing that you guys saw the first time I purchased all chemical ingredients and made a bunch of potions and leveled up. It was basically the exact same thing. You can look uh, right here at our new stats so you can see what, what's changed, what's going on. Of course, I doubt anybody's really keeping track of the actual numbers anyway. I mean, I'm not even keeping track of that. <laughs> I'm kind of just playing. Like, I know what bonuses I'm getting and I know what I'm aiming for, but that's about it. Also, alchemy is getting close to level 75, which will allow us to see all four ingredients, which are ingredient effects, which would be great. I picked up a uh, bow and arrow, got shadow hunt recharged and repaired, got the staff, uh, it's fully charged. The sword's not charged, uh, but the blade of woe still has some charge left in it. It's actually full, I believe, yes. And then we've got our, uh, let's see, we're wearing our mage's robe right now, robe of the apprentice. And uh, we got some potions here. Actually, I think that, yeah, these are the potions that I decided to keep after I finished making a bunch of them uh, out of all the ingredients I bought. I sold a whole bunch, and you can see, look, look at how much money we have. We have enough to afford a box of mage towel candles.